This is a short video about my first uh, biofuel water pump. So it's modular, it's got no moving parts. Um, the water uh, pumped from a little tank. Uh, use a U-tube instead of a valve because uh, the U-tube is uh, much more reliable than a valve uh, for slow pumping. And this is sometimes going to be slow. Here we have um, a little siphon tube which uh, is kind of like an on-off thing for it. So you have your cycle of pumping where you're pumping water up to the tank. and. Um, it's uh, coming up slowly. Uh, this is a, um, fueled by a biological process, and um, we're just coming over to uh, the process that fuels now. And in my case, I use yeast uh, with sugar, but you could use sauerkraut, you could use weeds, any sort of stuff. Uh, as you can see, uh, sorry in about I don't know maybe it's something like three hours. It's it's filled this up to the hole here. I have a different. I'm trying to keep this pipe as straight as possible. For a bunch of reasons, and it's uh, close to the emptying process. It has to go more, so I might try and speed it up. This is my yeast, uh, my little yeast power pack or yeast battery, if you want to call it that. So I'm just going to shake up the yeast and see if we can move some of this water a little quickly. So you can see it dribbling out here, dripping down, because uh, I filled up this. So we're just shaking up the yeast and that's uh, pushing the carbon dioxide out of it. So now it's, it's moving quickly. There we go. Now, this is the correct thing. So the siphon pipe has, has blown and uh, I think it has. Yeah, so the siphon pipe is gone and what we're getting now is um, the refill process. So we're getting water refilled from this pipe here. So this is coming down, you can see the water level going down in this. And uh, there'll be a little water bubbling around in this. Uh, And now that has practically cleared up. So, so there's this little uh, hole up in it. Anyway, everything worked fine, and it refilled. And I think it's going to be a pain taking this apart, but uh, I guess I've got to. And this is a, a YouTube down to here. This acts as a valve, and a pretty. Uh, uh, reliable valve because basically you're going to have more pressure than that before the, the valve blows and the pressure to blow the valve is less than the pressure it takes to pump the water up to here and really we, we're actually only pumping from here to here but this is just a demo to prove that works um, so the U is the valve and see the there's the pressure of the air from, from the yeast and the yeast is pushing air down to there and it's pushing water up into this here. I um, guess I'm going to have to take it apart. So I'm going to turn off the camera, take it apart and show you what it's like inside. So here we are, we've taken it apart. And um, anyway, so this it goes to the pipe that pumps the water up here and it's basically we've got a tube sealed at the bottom and we've got this siphon going into it at the side so the siphon tube goes in there and around and down to here and the tube that's sucking water out of it goes down a little bit further so it's important to have this side of the siphon a little bit higher than the uh, the other side of the siphon and it's important to have the siphon lower than the top of this and if all those things are in place um, it should work uh, pretty good and um, anyway uh, that's it um, so yeah 
the, the, the siphon when the water fills in and uh, the siphon starts up uh, just before it reaches the top here and I think I'm, I'm going to try and show you that actually because I can so we reassemble it we have our feed water here which is empty we have this above which is empty and our yeast is busy working away anyway we're going to fill this and hopefully we're going to be able to show you how the siphon works so that's for um, okay here we go so here we go airlock is cleared and you see the water filling in and the siphon tube is over here close to the camera and there's this little tiny airlock that the yeast clears anyway it's filling up and once it fills to the siphon tube which hopefully will be before the camera runs out of memory we'll, we'll see things so this much has filled in already and Don't mind about this, this is just a tiny little bit of water that was in the bottom of the pipe. So, where's the water level now? It's coming up to the twine. And once it comes up, uh, once it comes up to this, hopefully we'll have enough in the camera. It's gonna getting close now to that um, that siphon pipe it's just reaching the top of the siphon pipe now so once it goes over it there you go do you see the water coming down through the siphon pipe now everything is stopped this water has gone into the inner tube and um, uh, it has blocked it and it's ready for a cycle so now we've just got to wait uh, Actually, I'm just going to shake up the yeast. Now you see the water that was coming in. It's um, this is because the yeast is gradually building up pressure. I'm just going to shake. So over here is the yeast. Yeah, it's baker's yeast. In a, now this could be anything. It doesn't have to be baker's yeast. It could be cabbage for sauerkraut. Or it could be uh, anything that has a fermentation that produces gas. So I'm just going to shake this yeast and you see the water going up in the pipe and at the same time the other pipe which was feeding in water in the U-pipe it's going down you can see it going down here so so this is the yeast just the gas that the yeast has been producing over the last say five or ten minutes is uh, pushing it up, pushing up the, uh, where the heck am I? Pushing up the water level, and can we get to the top? We probably can. So I'm just shaking up the yeast here, and we'll see if we can get a first drip before the camera moves out. A few will. Oh, we're nearly there. So I don't know what you can see here. So it's just here, see the bubble there going up, so we should be able to get it to the top. Uh, no. Oh there we go, it's dripping in now, you can hear it. So that's it started and it'll stay going now for maybe half an hour. It's cooling down so the yeast works slower when it cools down. Anyway I'm going to stop it now. Now this is useful all over the world. It gives new meaning to biofuel and here's some of the places you can use it. Greenhouses, moss gardens, window farms. Poor people can't afford uh, electric motors for this type of constant slow watering. Pop gar uh, bottles are everywhere. Please rate this, comment and tell your friends so it gets known. Thank you.